much for having me. My name is Kiri. I'm going to talk about myself for a bit, which I love. <laughs> I've, had a, I've had a weird year. So the first thing that happened, big life change for me, is me and my partner of eight years separated. Now, I haven't got used to talking about it on stage. I, I feel very vulnerable every time I talk about it, but I thought that's the reason you should talk about it. And I think other people in the audience will have been through what we went through. Basically, I woke up one morning, we're in bed together, I looked over at him, and after eight years together, I just sort of had this realisation that I could pay the mortgage on my own. <laughs> I did the classic cliche thing when we broke up. I shed a load of timber. So since Christmas, I've lost about four stone. And you're right not to give a shit. It's not America. But <laughs> I, did, I, went, I went to the gym. I got a personal trainer, which sounds like I'm doing all right in life. But he's £15 an hour, which is about what I'd spend on Deliveroo if left to my own devices. <laughs> I should definitely want to have sex with my personal trainer. Um, he is incredibly symmetrical. He's very tanned. He's 28 years old. He's a professional bodybuilder. But his name is Colin, which is a real boner killer, isn't it? <laughs> no one wants to bang a Colin, do they? <laughs> That's not making it on the spreadsheet, no way. <laughs> it's a spreadsheet, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't look like a Colin. He looks like um, a racist. <laughs> Clapping racism. <laughs> Didn't realise it was that kind of show, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's a weird side effect if you lose weight. My friends don't know how to deal with it. I saw my friend Jess the other day. She's so right on. She went, oh, my God, babes, you look amazing. You look like you've lost loads of societal pressure. Well done, <laughs> sister. <laughs> my friend is like, I don't want to have kids because I'm worried about what it's going to do to my body. I'm not worried about what pregnancy will do to my body. I'm worried about whether I'm going to meet someone. My friend was like, you just need to meet a normal person. I was like, I don't know where they hide. <laughs> and she was like, we're going to go to a nightclub. It'll be really fun. I was like, those are some words that don't belong together. <laughs> because I remember going to nightclubs when I first gone to uni. It was ages ago now. And I just remember going to clubs being terrifying. I just remember being scared the whole time. There'd be all these guys stood around the dance floor, massive Collins, right? And <laughs> they'd try and sort of grab you as you went past and hassle you. You couldn't go anywhere on your own. Being a young, sexy girl in a nightclub is like being that iguana in planet Earth that just wants to get across the sand. <laughs> but all the snakes are like, let me buy you a drink, you bitch. <laughs> But I went to a nightclub at the beginning of the year and I have been seven times since. I absolutely love a nightclub now because I'm a size 14 and I'm 30 years old and those guys don't even see me. I can just have a nice time. It's so good. Being a size 14 girl in a nightclub is like, you know that bit in The Walking Dead where they've got to get through the zombies so they cover themselves in zombie guts so they can't see them and they're like, I can't believe I'm getting away with this. That's what it's like having a BMI of 32 in a club. It's incredible. <laughs> old 30 is not old but it is old in a nightclub because they don't look at me at the bar and think that's a 30 year old woman she probably knows exactly what she's doing and where she's going in life they look at me and see dame maggie smith propping up the bar <laughs> i remember when i was with the commodore <laughs> someone wooed like they'd proper have a go on maggie good for you mate I just want to, I want to make it really clear, though. Um, I'm, a, I'm a body positive person. I love my body. It's incredible. It looks after me. It keeps me safe. I think it's amazing. I don't think I'm fat. I don't think that anyone's weight has anything to do with how attractive they are. I think what I'm trying to say to you is, I am fat enough for cunts not to want to have sex with me. <laughs> and I think I'm all right with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Thank you very much.